Today at Coyote Classics, we're checking out a 1966 Chevelle. The color on this car is fantastic. Good sound and dual exhaust, and a four-speed manual transmission with bucket seats. I heard you mention the color. It is an awesome color. I love that dark blue metallic. I also love the stance. It's yeah. got a really nice stance, just a small rake to it. Um, tire and wheel size are really nice. It's got the American Racing Chrome Torque Thrust wheels. One other thing I like about it is they didn't clone it to an SS. Well, as I said, they, they put this little chrome piece here that says SS, but nothing the else is SS on through. it. Yeah. Um, before I shut the car off, as we look at the, listen to the engine bay, sounds great, um, does have power steering headers, power brakes. And as you mentioned before, um, the paint job's a few years old and it's, it's a driver, but they did a gorgeous job on the paint job. Um, it's got a beautiful steel cowl hood painted very nice underneath. And you can tell by just looking at the inner fenders and stuff like that, they took the whole car apart, painted it piece by piece, and bolted it back together. So it's got the Mallory ignition, as I mentioned, power steering headers, um, nice radiator. It's got an aluminum shroud on it. It's a cool, cool little street rock, resto mod, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, there you go. You can go around it. They left the bow tie on the front. Like I said, didn't do any SS badges on the exterior or interior of it. Um, as you look up and down the sides, very straight body. Front bumper looks nice. Couple little minor scratches, but Jay polished it out really nicely. Grill looks good as well. It's got new wheel well trim on it. It does have front disc brakes. And uh, Torque Thrust American Racing Wheels, which we didn't put on there. Yeah, it Everyone came in the, that way. In the comments, they probably think we did on YouTube. Yeah. But it's a good looking look. Chevelle. Um, also go on, uh, roll up the windows once, D. It's got awesome tinted windows. It really looks nice with that black vinyl top. It's got the dual chrome bow tie mirrors. And uh, if you didn't want, you know, if somebody doesn't want tint, usually yeah. it peels right off. Peels yeah. right off. So but it's it, not a I big deal. I thought it looked good want. on this one, especially with the stance. Mm -hmm. I like it too. It just looks cocky. Black vinyl top is awesome. Um, really nice across the top. As you look, anytime you're looking at a car with a black vinyl top, you really want to know how it is in here, make sure there's no bubbles and stuff like that, any rust issues um, above or below the window. And that one all looks really good. It's got the uh, tin on the back glass as well. Rear bumper looks nice and clean. As we look up and down the sides, really a nice straight old car. As I mentioned, it's a really nice driver, local car show quality car, not a trailer queen. But wait till you get behind the wheel of this one, Dalton. It shifts and drives very, very smooth. Awesome. Um, as we go in here, the bottom corner of the doors, it's just what I like to see. You know, no thick uh, filler corner here. Like yeah, no filler there. Um, the rubbers are really decent. Door panels appear to be all original, and you can see that just because of the little bit of, um, just a little bit of, uh, Aluminum strips coming loose there. Same thing with the dash. It's 100% original. No one has ever changed those out. But if a guy wants to really take it to the next level, you know, I could paint that and just change these $30, $40 bezels out. Each one's about 20, 30 bucks. Um, four speed Hurst shifter. Headliner's been replaced. That's in good shape. Dash pad looks real good as well. Um, bucket seats have been added. Was a factory bench seat Malibu. Um, again, headliner is nice. Back seat, back door panels are all original. Back seat looks great. Top of the back seat is nice as well. Uh, inside the trunk, you can see the undercarriage photos. And uh, inside the trunk at www.coyoteclassics.com. Make sure you check out how solid this little Malibu is. And today's a really nice day to, to showcase this car because that paint has so much metallic and hopefully it comes through on the camera, but it's, it's a great color. Yeah, like, it, like we said earlier, just a nice straight car. So we go over the wheel wells, very nice there. Bottom corner of the door fits really nice along here. 
Um, no bubbles or blisters in the lower fender, rocker door. A couple little tiny little paint chips right along the door's edge here. Other than that, I mean, what a great car. I didn't really see anything else on it. Corner of the door is great. Um, door panel is coming loose just a little bit right here under that chrome. It's glued right there. Um, paint on the top of the doors is nice. Again, it's all original inside, except for the headliner carpet and those front buckets. It's got an aftermarket tachometer, um, which works. Gauges all work, which we'll go into in here in a little bit. Um, looks like it's got an AM FM radio. Also has this up here, this little uh, transponder that probably gets us uh, our antenna right there. Works great that way. It's got our factory speaker up there. Um, horn is not working. Other than that, uh, as far as our bright lights work, dash lights work, wipers work. No heater fan, but everything seems like it, yeah, that one's a little tight. No heater fan. Um, oil pressure is great. Um, it's warming up here as far as uh, 35 pounds of oil pressure. Revs up over 50, gas gauge works. Um, it's got the auto light, I'm sorry, the, yeah, the auto gauge tack over here works as well. nice car you know? it is it's comfortable I mean like I said yep. just a nice driver but something kind of cocky something you park at a gas station as you're walking in you want to turn but turn back and look at your car Definitely. You know, that's what that's what this is damn you're kidding it is like I quick. said it's got a lot of power this is the one we should have raced against the black 70 no yeah um here's your brakes power disc brakes no pull left or right um, as far as the alignment goes, it feels good, but the steering wheel is off just a little tiny little bit. I don't know if you'll get, get that straightened out, you know, with the, the movement of it. It's probably where it kind of needs to be there. A power steering feels really good as well. Speedometer works excellent. Nice. Throws you right back in your seat. Shifts beautifully. Look at that. That's a good car. It's a really good car. Um, the first time I took it for a spin, I knew that right away. Um, very, very impressive. Hey, one other thing, when also, when you're driving down the road, the windows all go up really, really yep. nice and smooth as well. Downshift. It's got a really nice sound too. You know, just. Sounds like a nice tight car. It's no all muscle. Goes down the road great. As I mentioned, that steering wheel being off. I mean, that's how far it's off. It's just a minute little bit. But the alignment's awesome, so I wouldn't change that. Um, gas gauge works as well. Brakes Again, our speeds. brakes are awesome. Temperature gauge is just coming up to 150 right now. I noticed when he hit a bump, and I'm not sure that it was that front tire, but just a little bit, maybe a shock we need to tighten up or something, but it Might drives be. so great. I just heard just a little bit of a, Rubs. maybe that exhaust too, just a little be. bit. But it only did it just that one time. Yeah, when we hit that little pothole there. Let's go through it one more time. I'm impressed with it. Me too. Those right are, yeah, 4,000 RPM shifts right there. Scratch, scratch, 4,000, shift into four, over 75. Nice. That's smooth. That's a fun car to drive. Headline, or the visors stay up nice and tight. Just really smooth, isn't it? It is. This one's gonna sell fast. So if you like it, you better check it out on our website, coyoteclassics.com. Um, give us a call, 641-816-3145. Um, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.